One of the toughest things about party planning can sometimes be coming up with creative ways to set the table. And here with the cute DIY option you can make before your next shower party or wedding is Jennifer Prince from Hill City Bride. Thank you so much yeah. for coming in. Good morning. So yes, this and this is, is so cute. So what are we making today? We are. I don't even know what to call it. I was trying to come up with a name, but basically it's a silverware pouch. So yes, with, <laughs> yes. If you have like a shower, or even you could do these for a wedding, or of course the Fourth of July, mm -hmm. um, you could just put all your silverware out for everybody and do the normal thing. Have a pile of napkins. Have all of that. But right. I think it's so adorable to just have a little personalized little packet for everyone. I love this. This Super is cute. like the thing that you never knew that you needed. Right. <laughs> and it looks pretty simple. So what do we need for this project? Okay. Well, again, it's all totally up to you what you want. Um, I have two okay. different ones here, two different styles. Obviously, the 4th of July or Patriotic is only um, for certain times of the year. But right. you'll want some sort of pouch. Um, these are available at craft stores and all too. You could even use um, something from like a food department type of thing too. Okay. Um, you know, to slip a sandwich in or something like that. Like any type of container like that that's paper. Right. And then you'll need napkin and then whatever you want to put inside of there. I have um, just some plastic silverware. I think that with the straws that we have nowadays. Yes. So cute. All the paper straws. I mean, and it's I never, a must. like I see <laughs> these straws all the time and I'm like, I need these straws. I have no reason to need right. them. But now, now you do. Now you, you do. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, and I actually, I just thought this was an adorable little, it's I a love sport. This. And so cute if you have like a little tropical theme or whatever. Yes. Um, you will also want two little tiny, these are called glassine is the type of bag that they are, but uh, they're just little tiny bags. And then a Sharpie marker. Okay. Um, and then just some and extra what are, little what are things these for. Um, the killer for me, why I really wanted to do this project, which as you can see, you're giving everyone their own little individual salt and pepper. I love that <laughs> so much. Yes, it's super cute. So basically, um, what you need to do is just a few little tricks. I mean, it's very simple, but okay. with your napkin, you're just going to want to fold it. You can just lay it on top of your bag mm -hmm. and you just want to fold it a little bit smaller than your bag so right. that when you slide it in that it's very easy to do. Okay. Um, you just add anything that you want in there. Like I said, you can add your straw, your silverware, and then as far as the salt and pepper go, you just take your salt and pepper and you just fill these little bags. Right. And I laid them, I actually just wrote salt and pepper on there. And then you want to lay them on top of each other so that you can, you can read see them. them. Yes, right. yes. So, so the one's longer one than the other. You. Chris, you can yeah. see this one. See, look, and this one you just put an S and a P. Yes, um, I did. And then the other one you actually wrote out salt and pepper. Exactly, yes. Um, and with this so one, cute. I clipped, because you're going to want to, I mean, obviously loose salt and pepper is a little bit dangerous. <laughs> it's not dangerous, but you know, <laughs> but you can get it everywhere. Messy, yeah. Yes, yeah, so this one I just did with a little clip, and then I tied with twine because I thought that was cute. This one, I actually punched holes in the salt and the pepper, and then I... Okay put a ribbon through there. This was a little bit, I, I can't say that my tabletop was without salt after right. I did this, so you wanna be careful to keep these up like this. But Absolutely. whether you lay it on somebody's place setting or they would look really cute just in something like this so that people, when they're going through and getting their disposable plate or whatever, right. that they can just grab one of these for themselves too, so. I, I love this, and you know when you go through a buffet and then you like always forget to get a fork yes, and knife true. or a yes, spoon, you just always having forget this something. something that people can grab so that you don't have to keep getting up to get what you forgot, it's so smart. Yeah, and, and exactly. it makes such a difference for different parties, I mean, or weddings, and it's something affordable. It is super, I mean, this was really inexpensive. And I do wanna just say too, that I folded this back up so that okay. the silverware would peek out too. So don't be afraid to you know modify it if you need to. Right. But yes, it is inexpensive, but I think sometimes those inexpensive things can be high impact yes. too for your event. Absolutely, <laughs> so what is your website so that people can find, and do you have these on yes, there Yes, these are on the site, yes, yes. Um, and it's hillcitybride.com, and it's actually today's blog posting that we have this up there, so everybody can see pictures and step-by-step -step instructions and even links to where to purchase some of these items, too. Perfect. Thank yeah. you so much for coming yeah. in, and if you all want a link to her website, we'll have it on our website. Just go to daytimebluebridge.com.